Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll tell you a fiction movie called The Jack the Giant Slayer. The film begins when a little boy named Jack can't sleep because of lightning. He thought that the lightning was made by a giant as he had read from a book belonging to his mother. Then Jack asked his father to read the book to him. Told the monks make a way to their god using magic bean seeds. When they thought they had arrived at heaven's door, it turned out that what they found was the residence of giants called Gantua. The monks were pushed by the giant back to the mainland. The giants came down to the mainland, they made a mess and stole. And the scene moved to a girl named Isabel who was also read the same story by her mother. Then King Eric ordered the monks to make a crown that could control the giants. When the king used the crown, King Eric can control the giants. King Eric ordered them to return to Gantua. With great annoyance the giants returned and vowed to return to kill King Eric's descendants. King Eric also cut down their connecting tree. After that, King Eric decided to keep the crown and the remaining magic beans. Until when he died, the crown and the beans went with him. And the story becomes a legend that is not believed by adults, then Jack told to sleep by his father. And in place of Isabel, her mother says that she is a descendant of King Eric. Ten years passed, the grown-up Jack is going to the royal city. He wants to sell his horse, and his uncle came to say don't be late home. Arriving in town, Jack saw a theatrical play about King Eric fighting the giants. While watching the show, there was a woman who was being bullied by several men. Jack came to intervene but Jack was beaten by them, but moments later the men looked scared and the other spectators immediately fell to their knees. Jack looked back and realized that the woman he helped earlier was an adult princess Isabel being picked up by royal guards. He returned to see his horse, Jack was confused because the cart was gone. Then the scene moves to the kingdom where there is a man named Roderick who is the fiancé of Princess Isabel going somewhere. On his way, he ran into a monk and ignored him. He arrived at a room, Roderick saw the room was messy. Then he checked a pot and he found a crown still in there. Then Roderick checks a book but its contents are gone. Then Roderick ordered to close the city and look for the monk. Jack who was peddling his horse met the monk earlier. The monk said he would buy Jack's horse but he had no money. Then he gave Jack some beans as collateral and told Jack to go deliver the beans to the monastery and there he would be paid. The monk reminded Jack not to lose that beans and not to give water to the beans. Then the monk fled on Jack's horse followed by the royal soldiers who saw him. And moments later the monk was surrounded and captured. Jack who came home with the beans was scolded by his uncle. It turns out that Jack was raised by his uncle because his father had died. Jack said that he would go to the monastery tomorrow and collect the money. But his uncle did not want to believe in it, because for him the monks had no money. Because angry, Uncle Jack threw the beans on the floor. When Jack picked it up, one of the beans fell and slipped from the cracks in the floor. Finally Uncle Jack went to sell Jack's father's clothes to fix their leaky roof. In the palace, the princess Isabel arrived, and argues with her father. Isabel tries to convince her father that she is a tough woman who doesn't need bodyguards and doesn't need to marry Roderick. But his father still insisted on this provision. At night, Roderick, who was in a hurry, didn't realize that Princess Isabel, who was sneaking out of the palace, ran into him. It turned out that Roderick went to meet the monk who they had caught. He asked where the beans he took, but the monk kept his mouth shut which make Roderick killing him. It was raining very hard, Jack was nervous because his uncle had not come home. Jack finally intended to follow his uncle. But when he opened the door he met Princess Isabel who was lost. They were talking inside at Jack's house. When taking Isabel's coat, Jack saw a story book about King Eric and the giant in Isabel's coat pocket. It turns out the princess also liked the story. Knowing the situation of Isabel who was running away, Jack tried to encourage her. Under the floor, the beans that fell earlier began to grow because of the rain dripping from the roof of Jack's house. Suddenly Jack's house shook and a giant beanstalk grew fast. Jack was blown out of the house by the tree, but Isabel was trapped in Jack's house. Jack tries to help, but the floor of Jack's house is fragile which makes Jack fall. Isabel tries to hold Jack's hand but Jack keeps falling and fainting while carrying Isabel's bracelet. Jack woke up with the king in front of him. The king asked why his daughter's bracelet was in Jack's hand. Then Jack said that Isabel in his house that had been carried to the top of the giant bean tree. The king then ordered Elmont to climb the tree and look for his daughter. Roderick, who had his own plans, 
asked to join in on the mission, followed by Jack who also asked to take part in the mission. Then they went to climb the giant tree with a small team. They continued to climb even though it was night and it was raining. One of the soldiers was struck by lightning and fell dangling from the ropes they had previously tied to their bodies. Wick, who tried to hold them back, was told by Roderick to cut the rope which made four soldiers fall and only six people were left. Finally they arrived and Jack saw an island and his house, but the princess is gone. Elmont finds a footprint on the island and deduces the princess is there. They tried to explore the island but Jack was detained by Roderick who knew that the magic bean he was looking for was in Jack, he forcing Jack to hand it over. Jack gave the bean and kept one bean secretly in his necklace. They started looking for Isabel with the trail left by her. Jack entered the cave, he found Isabel's book fallen there. From the signs around, Jack thought Isabel was hiding from something big. To speed up the search, they split into two. Bald, Roderick and Wick watched from a high place while Elmont, Crow and Jack continued through the forest. Elmont's team came out of the forest and saw the sheep. Because the food supply is depleted they try to catch the sheep. But there was a trap and resulted in Crow and Jack being trapped. They try to escape and succeed due to a broken rope. But there was a giant who came. They tried to hide from the giant. But Crow was caught and captured by the giant. Elmont tried to help. But the giant kicked him and made Elmont unconscious. The giant took them both away and Jack followed him. Elsewhere, Roderick stopped because of a cliff. Roderick who has other goals on the island pushes Bald down. But when they laughed at Bald, a giant caught Wick and ate him. Then another giant came climbing the cliff. They surrounded Roderick and wanted to arrest him. Roderick immediately took out the crown he was carrying. Isabel was caught and locked up by the giant general. The giant general asked how Isabel got to their place but Isabel remained silent. Then the giant general said that he knew Isabel was descended from King Eric by her smell. After that, the giant general took Isabel to his herd, which was also followed by a giant named Fee taking Elmond and Crow. The general asked Crow how many there were, but Crow remained silent which made the giant kill him. Then Roderick came with a shining crown on his head. It turns out that the crown is the crown of King Eric. All the giants knelt before him which made Elmont and Isabel happy. But Roderick told the giant to get ready because tomorrow morning they will come down and destroy the cloister kingdom. Then the scene shows Jack walking through the giant's place. Then Jack saw a giant carrying Isabel and Elmont. Jack managed to find them. Jack tries to open Isabel's cage but he can't. Then Jack tries to free Elmont who is tied to a doe. But Jack didn't have time because the giant returned to put Elmont on the oven. Then the giant went to get Isabel. Jack who was above the giant took a knife and dropped it on the giant's back. The giant spin around because of the pain, which made him hit his back against the wall and died, under the beanstalk, look very crowded waiting for the princess. The king called General Enton and asked should they to cut down the tree because the king was afraid of the King Eric legends. Elmont builds a grave for Crow, and Jack tries to encourage Isabel who is blaming herself, then they went towards the way back, but there was a sleeping giant who was assigned by Roderick to guard the way. Jack has an idea to expel the giant, Jack put the beehive into the giant's helmet. The giant spin around in pain, which made him fall off the cliff. Jack, Elmont and Isabel rushed to the exit of the island, but Elmont said he would stay there to retrieve King Eric's crown from Roderick, and Elmont gave his badge to Jack. Under the beanstalk, when the monks were praying they saw a giant falling down. The king came out of the tent and saw it all. The king immediately ordered everyone to cut down the tree. Jack and Isabel continued down the tree into the night until they could see the cloister kingdom and the tents below them. But under the beanstalk, the soldiers continued to cut down the tree. Tomorrow morning the giants led by Roderick prepare to go down. Roderick prepares to sow another bean seed for their descent, but Elmont comes ambushing him. Elmont and Roderick fight at the entrance and General Fallon orders his men to excavate the place. Roderick urged Elmont and had him dangling by both hands, but Elmont gets up and stabs Roderick. Roderick died and Elmont, who managed to climb back up, rushed to take King Eric's crown, but the giants took Roderick's body first. General Fallon took the crown and slipped it on his finger. Under the beanstalk, they finally managed to knock the tree over. Jack and Isabel held on tight to the tree, and Elmont jumped into a tree that was about to fall. Fallon who saw the tree fall shouted angrily because their path to go down was no longer there. Then Jack used a tree root to hang and managed to land on a haystack safely, while Elmont managed to land in the lake that surrounds the kingdom. Isabel went to meet her father. 
Her father was very happy because he thought he would lose Isabel. Isabel also told that Roderick was a traitor who wanted to destroy the kingdom. The king thanked Jack, and gave Isabel bracelet to him. Isabel, who was already dressed in armor, came to see Jack and thanked him too. Jack gave the story book back to Isabel as a reminder of himself. In Gantua, an annoyed Fallon finds the bean bag thrown from Roderick. Fallon immediately blew the peanut into the water. The giant beanstalk instantly grew and headed downwards. The giants immediately rushed to the tree to get down. Jack found his horse back, but when he looked at the water he saw a giant tree coming down from the sky. Jack went quickly after Isabel's group. When it came to pursuit, Isabel looked back that it turned out that the giants were behind them. The royal group, spurred their horses quickly into the palace. But several soldiers were caught by the giants. Until finally they were able to reach the palace safely. But Fallon tries to chase Jack by jumping into the gate which is about to be closed. But he failed and finally had to fall into the lake. Fallon tried to ask for help but no one of the giants wanted to help him. Inside the palace, the troops are preparing to defend against the giants' attack. The giants tried to pull the entrance with hooks. Then the giants also threw a tree that had been burned. The king tells Isabel to light the flare on the top of the tower and ask Jack to look after her daughter. Jack and Isabel rushed to get there, they used the underpass to get there quickly. At the gate, the troops tried to defend the gate. Soldiers also fired arrows using the machine to reduce the number of giants. One of the giants who saw that, shot the arrow with a slingshot and make the machine being destroyed. On the way, Jack and Isabel met Fallon who was still alive. They tried to hide from Fallon but they were easily spotted. Jack and Isabel ran but Isabel was caught. Jack took an axe and tried to help but he was also caught by Fallon. When Fallon wants to eat Jack, Jack takes out a magic bean from his necklace and throws it into Fallon's mouth. Instantly a giant tree grew from inside Fallon which caused his body to be split apart and his hand which had King Eric's crown fell next to Jack. At the gate of the bridge has been captured by the giants, and the giants entered the palace. When they wants to attack, the giants dropped their weapons and knelt down. The king and his troops looked back, it turned out that Jack and Isabel had returned with the crown of King Eric. Jack also ordered the giants to return and the trees that grew were cut down. Then the king abolished the rule that a princess must marry a nobleman. Which made Jack marry Isabel and have two children. Just like the story of King Eric, Jack's story is also inherited continuously.